Let me show you how we would configure the policy in detail. In Microsoft Purview, you can set this up in Data Loss Prevention under Classifiers on the new Collection Policies page. These policies enable you to tailor the discovery of data and activities from the browser, network, and devices. You can see that I already have a few created here. And I'll go ahead and create a new one right from here. Next, for what data to detect, I can choose the right classifiers. I have the option to scope these down to include specific classifiers or include all except for the ones that I want to exclude. I'll just keep them all. For activities to detect, I can choose the activities I want. In this case, I'll select text and files shared with a cloud or AI app. Now I'll hit Add. And next, I can choose where to collect the data from. This includes connected data sources like devices, Copilot experiences, or enterprise AI apps. The Unmanaged Cloud Apps tab uses the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps catalog to help me target the applications I want in scope. In this case, I'll go ahead and select all the first six on this page. For each of these applications, I can scope which users this policy applies to as a group or separately. I'll scope them all together for simplicity. Here, I have the option to include or exclude users or groups from the policy. In this case, I'll keep all selected and save it. Next, I have the option of choosing whether I want AI prompts and responses that are detected to be captured and preserved in purview. This enabled the experience we saw earlier of viewing the full interaction. Finally, in mode, you can turn the policy on, or if you leave it off, this will save it so that you can enable it later. 